그립다 그립다 네가 너무너무 그립다 하루에 하나씩 Wayne, Wayne, stop. You stop walking further and wait for your best friend to come near you. You were not in good mood and didn't want to have any conversation with her, but ignoring her would be hurting for her. She finally came near you before trying to catch her breath. You weren't looking at her. What is it, Lily? She frowned, noticing the tension in your tone. I need to talk to you. You have been avoiding me all day and I can't figure out why. You sighed and looked at her. It's nothing really, just stuff on my mind that's all. She shook her head unconvinced by her words. Don't give me that. I know something's bothering you and I want to help. Is it because of what happened yesterday? Your heart sank at the mention of yesterday's incident. You mean when your senior proposed to you? You asked and a hint of bitterness could be felt in your voice while her eyes widened. Wayne, you know I don't even like him like that. He's not my type and you know it. I can't believe you think about me like that. I would never go after someone you like and especially him. Realization hit you hard and now you are feeling so guilty for thinking different about your own best friend who is like a sister to you. So you rejected him? She sighed and crossed her arms across her chest. Do you really think I will ever say yes to that ice cold statue and you started ignoring me without knowing the whole thing, huh? You looked down in guilt and embarrassment. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. You apologized with a pout. Not that easily. I can't believe you avoid me because of that guy. Is he more important to you than me? Never. And what he did yesterday, I want to break his bones after that. He knew that I was a fangirl of him. I loved him and to make me jealous, he proposed to you. I want to teach him a lesson. I would suggest you to not give a damn about that guy because there are more hotties in our own class. But if you want to teach him a lesson for breaking your heart, then let's make a plan and he'll crawl to you and ask you to be his girlfriend. You raised an eyebrow giving her a look. I know what you are thinking. I'll explain everything but first let's go or else we'll miss our bus. I don't want that trash but I surely want to teach him a lesson. He should know how it feels to hurt someone who loves you. He will surely do. You both held each other's hand and climbed down the stairs at full speed. So what's the plan? He said walking inside the class with Lily but before she replied, someone untied your hair and cl you closed your eyes in frustration because you know who that is. What plan? He said looking both of you while spinning your hair tie around his index finger. Not your business and give me my hair tie. You tried to get it but he held it high. Lily looked at you and grabbed your hand. Leave me Lily, I have to get my tie from this annoying rabbit. And it will always be a dream because you were all too short to reach the height of this rabbit. You were about to throw your hand but Lily pulled you closer to her, attracting your attention. What happened to you? She smirked and eyed towards Jungle. What are you trying to say? Say it clearly. Why ain't he's the plan? You frowned and looked at Jungkook who holds the same expression. What are you guys talking about? You better stay away from us. You looked at Lily and whispered. What are you talking about? Explain it in simple words. She smiled and whispered something in your ear making you open your mouth in amazement while Jungkook was looking at you confused.
Hey, are you guys talking about me? You better not because if you do, I won't leave you alone. You pulled back and covered your face in excitement. I don't know if I can do that, but this idea is amazing. I am assuring you the guarantee. Now we have to tell him everything. You stopped her. No, let's keep this secret between us and make it look real. She looked at you and then Jungkook before turning his face back to you. Are you sure? Not even him? You gave a nod. Yes, believe me, it will be fine. She sighed and shrugged her shoulders. I wish, but is it possible? Leave it on me. If it's something about me, then you will have to pay for it. You turned towards him and smiled, and it was really surprising for him because all the interaction that happens between you guys always out of tease and annoyance. Yeah, stop with that creepy smile, okay? Your smile faded, and you looked at Lily, who tried to control her smile because she's so done with both of your everyday drama. I don't want to be involved. I'm sorry. And she walked towards her seat while you looked at Jungkook, who winked at you, making your eyes widen. You are really pervert. I don't want to play with you. Am I missing something? Are you playing some kind of game? You hit your forehead and you knew it would be impossible to play this game alone because you guys will only work out together when you explain your plan to him. Jungkook, can we talk? He stood up straight and looked at you from head to toe while a playful smile on his face. You want to finally confess that you like me, huh? You rolled your eyes. Come with me. You grabbed his hand while dragging him outside the class. Lily smiled and shook her head. I feel like it's going to turn real. I cannot even imagine both of them in the same frame without bantering. Well, good for them. Revenge from Sam will definitely going to get her a true boyfriend. Yen, do you know that you are holding my hand? He said, following you with surprise. I know that. I have to tell you something. What and where are you taking me? You stop and turn towards him. Can't you be a little patient for a while? He rolled his eyes, but then, as you turn, you saw Sam, and your blood boiled, which Jungkook felt as he noticed your grip on his hand tightened. Sam looked at you and then your hands, which were intertwined with Jungkook's. Jungkook noticed that how your eyes were fixed on Sam, and he was looking at you, so he felt a tint of jealousy. Do you want to go or not? You came back from your thoughts and looked at him. Yes. You both walked away from there while Sam turned back to look at you. So I was right. There is something going on between them. And when I proposed to Lily, the truth came out. He angrily walked towards his class. Jungkook stopped and turned you towards him, which made you a little surprised because he looked a little mad or maybe just annoyed. What was that? You frowned upon his question. What? Don't try to pretend and tell me what's going on. Is there something going on between you and Sam? Jungkook is your childhood friend who developed feelings for you as you both grew up, but you never felt the same for him, or maybe just didn't realize because you have a crush on Sam from a very long time. Jungkook has no idea about yesterday's events, so when you were looking at Sam a while ago, he felt jealous. There's nothing going on between us. You said avoiding eye contact with him while he crossed his arms across his chest. So what plan you and Lily were talking about? Ah, now I understand. You were planning to use me to get Sam, right? Stop making up stuff. I don't want him in any way. He came near you. Oh, really? Don't you have crush on him? Don't you always fangirl about everything he does, even if it's nothing?
Even if it's true, why do you have a problem? Why are you overreacting? Remember, we are only friends, not even that close. He burst out but regret immediately. Jungkook didn't able to stand there for long and walked away but you grabbed his arm, holding him back. Jungkook, I'm sorry. I swear I didn't mean to say that. I just want your help. That's it. Find yourself who is close to you. Maybe they can help. He removed your hand and walked away while you closed your eyes and sighed. My problems can never be solved with ease. You walk behind Jungkook. You came back in the class and Lily immediately came near you. What happened between you guys? Jungkook looked angry and he left in anger with his bag. You looked at her. I don't know what I have done that made him so angry. Lily, I'm going to talk to him. But what happened? I'll tell you everything later. You ran outside the class while Lily sighed. God, please help them. You started to look for Jungkook because you realized that you might have hurt him by your words. Sam was coming from the other side and he noticed you so he approached. Wyan, can we talk? You looked at him angrily, don't know why that crush vanished in seconds and now you realize how disturbing this guy is. Wyan, I want to apologize for what happened previously but I want to give us a chance. Your jaw tensed up and you felt so disgusting. Go to hell. He only said these two words and walked away from there while Sam was in shock. Never ever any girl has said this to him. He scoffed. Is she for real? After searching him everywhere, you finally found him in the playground, sitting on the stairs. Gathering your courage, you walked towards him while he turned his face to the other side when he saw you. You slowly walk near him but stop a few steps away. I was looking for you. Why did you come here? He got up and looked at you. Why were you looking for me? We are not even close, right? Okay, I'm sorry. He picked his bag and was about to leave but you grabbed his arm. Why are you getting mad like this? It's true that we know each other but we are not that close and I just wanted to ask you for some help. That's it. If you don't want that, it's okay. At least don't ignore me like this. He turned towards you and looked in your eyes. You wanted my help to get close to that Sam, right? You got a little nervous and lowered your eyes while Jungkook's jaws clenched. So it was true. No, it's not. You looked at him. I mean, yes, I wanted your help, but not to get close to him, but to make him jealous, to make him feel the same like how he made me do. He frowned. And what's that? He waited for your reply, but you lowered your eyes and removed your hand from his arm. Nothing. Leave it and I'm sorry if I said anything hurtful. You were about to leave but this time he grabbed your arm and pulled you closer to him while you rested your hands on his chest to maintain a distance. Your heart started beating fast. You like him right? You stayed silent for some time but then shook your head while looking down. Not anymore. And I'm grateful that I got to know what kind of guy he is before it was too late. Sam was looking at both of you from a distance and he couldn't able to see the scene unfolding in front of his eyes so he left from there. Actually he proposed to Lily because he wanted to make you jealous. He thought there's something going on between you and Jungkook but his move turned back to him. I already know but I want to listen it from you. Tell me what happened. You sighed and he let go of your arm when he realized how close you both were. It got a little awkward. 
Yesterday he proposed to Lily. He knew that I have crush on him, yet he decided to break my heart. But of course he got rejected because Lily doesn't like him. And we planned to make him jealous and that's why she advised me to be with you for some days so that you were so guilty for your actions that you couldn't able to say anything further so that he will come to you. You looked at him and shook your head. No, I told you that I don't like him anymore. In fact, now I am cursing myself for liking him. I just want to teach him a lesson, that's it. I'm sorry if you feel used because of me. Your heart skipped a beat when he took your hand in his. You swallowed and looked at him. Let's do it then. Let's make him jealous, but what if we do it for real rather than showing off? W what does that mean? You knew what's coming up, but you were not sure. Let me say it clearly now because it's been a long time and I think I deserve to express my feelings. If you can give a chance to that jerk, I'm a hundred times better than him. Jungkook, your heart was thumping inside your chest. Yes, I'm in love with you. I want you to stop ignoring my feelings and give importance to me because I think I deserve that and I will keep you million times happier than anyone. That's my promise because that's the only thing I always wanted. You were speechless. You have no idea what to say but surely you were feeling butterflies in your stomach. I'll give you time to think but I want to hear yes. Your jaw dropped. Is it a threat? He shrugged his shoulders, just a warning because after that, I have my ways to make you say yes. Your face was red with blush. You cannot do anything, okay? And don't make me play it hard by saying all that. You know, I take it as a competition and then even if I want to say yes, I won't say it that easily. He smiled. But you will, so I'm okay with that. You were trying to control your smile. We have a class. You were about to leave but he grabbed your hand. Let's go together girlfriend. Now we are in a relationship. You looked at him surprised. And when that happened? Just now. Let's go. We have to make that Sam jealous too, right? You rolled your eyes. I don't want him. He chuckled. Of course you won't want him because once you get a taste of jungle, there's no going back. You side eye him while he blinked making you finally chuckle and you knew you gave up and found your Mr. Right. You laughed that means everything is fine. Let's go. Let's make the whole school jealous. You laughed out loud, only he can make you laugh this loud and can make you go crazy as well. That's how your relationship is. But now, it has become more than that and you found yourself feeling a very different feeling. It was good and something that made you happy from inside. You knew you chose the best. 